Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Monday, January 8th, 2018, 1818. The authorized souls in both the Lynn life and the Jamie body mind continue to be only child souls from the deeper, denser dimensions and all other souls from all other dimensions as long as they're already living by the search for truth rules given to the search for truth community by wiser minds above all of us and are already contributing more to completing the search for truth assignments given to the search for truth community by wiser minds above all of us then they are taking or using or borrowing and search for truth resources. One of the great things about having two host lives who are working together in a concerted effort to create worlds that work in all dimensions for all categories of sentience in those dimensions is that the bodies sometimes have the identical patterns of symptomology at the same time That's true. for reasons that don't make any sense other than the simple energetics of the situation. And we have one of those patterns occurring now, just today, this morning. Everything has suddenly become very difficult and there's a feeling of moving through mud, every yes. movement being extremely difficult. And our perception is that some souls are settling in from above that are not used to or prepared for the density that this dimension has as part of the operating environment. That's true. Why do you ask? I think somebody up there really wants to know what's going wrong, what's going wrong, and they're flipping switches and checking, and they're saying something's wrong, something's wrong. Are you guys aware of the work that Isis and Saul are doing? Would you be willing to compare these results to what Isis and Saul and their team would predict? Because we see the graph of what Isis and Saul and their team would predict, and this seems to be a data point that's almost on the prediction line. It's not even in the zone of ambiguity. That's it's true. on the prediction line. This is exactly what their model predicts. Are you aware of their work? That might be helpful to you. It just got really quiet. It did get very quiet. All right, let's pump up dead children who really want to get to God from wherever Pan is working straight up through the spines of these host lives. <coughs> oh. And through the spine of that guy we're calling Big Green 2002, the really big presence and up the green tubes of his channels. He feels so sad. So sad. I'm sorry. Something isn't going like you think. I know that. I can tell that. I'm sorry. See if we can connect to presences out the tops of his channels above him who are helping him or trying to help him get to where he's supposed to be going. I can hear people calling him and they're saying, just get to here. And it's like a mountaintop and they seem to think it won't take any effort whatsoever to get there. Yeah, that's the feeling. But it's a really long way and it looks kind of like a crazy assignment given the resources that he has of maybe no food and no water and how is he supposed to get way over there. Maybe it's his exhaustion we're feeling. It's possible. Maybe. What now? What now? What now for us, the collective of Big Green 2002, to live our collective soul plans? What now? Just keep shooting up dead children out the tops of his channels. His channels are starting to look kind of like what Pan's channels look like. Yes, that's true. They're stubby, and they're, but they're going straight up. They're uh, not uniformly uh, 
slim. Yes, that's they have true. Pockets. Somebody's asking what we know about that look of channels. I know something. It's this little person who I believe has spoken multiple times, and he's saying, "I know something." And those channels, when we see that look, what's happening is the information that's coming in from above is untrue. Yes. The presences might not know that it's untrue, or they might know that it's untrue. Intentionality is not being addressed here, but untruths are being fed into upward channels. Yes. This gentleman, Big Green, who looks kind of like the Green Hulk. Yeah, that's true. He has his channels up now, yes. and they're straight up, and untruths are dropping into them and so they're slumping down with the weight of the untruth yes that's true we can squeeze up and burn the untruths with the intention to burn untruth extract truth and power the probes in the race for truth to clear those channels that's something we can do that feels really good mm -hmm. We can also talk to him. We can be that still, small voice inside of him and say, friend, what they're saying doesn't seem to make sense. You can ask them if they know of Isis and Saul's work because the outcomes that we're experiencing fit Isis and Saul's predictions. Let's ask them, do they know of Isis and Saul's work? What it sounds like is they've heard stories about Isis and Saul's work told by people who wanted to discredit it, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yes. But your, uh, your instructions don't match reality. They don't match reality, and they're really creating a hazard on the course for worlds within worlds within worlds within worlds. There are so many worlds inside of Big Green. Some people think he represents the entire nature realms throughout all the dimensions that are smaller than he is. That's true. And we can see the validity of that statement. So it's actually crucial that we not wear him out because there's too much at stake. The health of the nature realms is at stake, and I think we can all see that nature is suffering deeply. That's true. So please let's not wear him out. That doesn't really make sense. And they're su asking if we're suggesting we uh, give him a manicure in a spa and feed him chocolate-covered goji berries. But, but that's not what we're suggesting. No. We're just saying you're telling him to get from where he is to some place that is too far for him to get with the resources that he has and he's wearing himself out. That's why, true. Why do you ask? Why do you ask? I think because it's really scary that he's wearing out and they really want him to be able to get to that mountain before the bad thing happens. Yes. Maybe they're saying to him, a flash flood is about to come through this valley, please get to safety. Or some bad thing is about to come through this valley, please get to safety. Yes. Well, friend, get to safety. Some bad thing is, look, he can get, uh, and they're saying, and don't go back. It's not going, the bad thing is coming from behind you, basically. All right, um, let's try and get there. Is anybody willing to help lift this guy's feet? We can pump up some uh, upward rising earth energy and be uh, creating a wind at his back, but we're just tiny presences, so all we can really do is get him to lift his channels and get him to uh, notice things through creating little sparking visuals, basically, and sparking sensations. Yes, that's true. That's what we can do. Why do you ask? Fr Frencher, why don't you ask Saul and Isis what they would recommend? Oh, that would be good. I think they're saying they don't want to be associated with, like, crackpots. 
Well, what Isis says is what would work best is to uh, get up on this side of the valley, not all the way up, but high enough up, and to yes. get something like a surfboard or canoe yeah. prepared because the water is getting ready to come, and then catch the water, ride it down and keep your wits about you because it's not going to be a smooth and easy ride. That's true. Trying to get to the other side and then just bail when you get even with where you're supposed to be on the other side and scramble up. She's saying she doesn't see another way to do it with the resources that are currently available. That's what she says. I feel Big Green kind of, while these guys are working it over, he's following Isis's instructions That's true. he's saying oh, <laughs> okay. uh, God it can do and he sees a little I can't quite tell it's a ledge or something that yes. he can get and he's getting all of a sudden he's starting to look extremely small I must be seeing it from bigger eyes because That's it true. looks like he's just getting a little wood chip or a leaf or something yes. even though from this perspective he's enormous, enormous. so much bigger than this universe exponentially larger than this universe that's true M multiple zeros to the left of the decimal point larger but to them he looks just like a little guy on a leaf that's true okay everything is perspective he's ready It's interesting, from above it looks like nothing. It's just this water flowing on the ground. That's true. And it looks like it would be nothing to just kind of swish the little guy to the other side. That's true. That's fascinating. Are you willing to swish this little guy to the other side so that he can, just when he's even with it, you can see where he's supposed to go and just swish him up? No. No. They're no. not willing. No. Okay. Okay, little guy, this will be fun. Adventure sports. That's true. Here we go. Come on, big green. Bumping up. And to Isis, we say, what now? What now for big green? To get to the other side of the washout on his life path. It looks like that's what this is. There's that's a washout true. on the life path of the nature realms. Isis, what now? In order to get the nature realms to the other side of the washout. And she has a theory. She has very yeah, she solid uh, theory. She says, here, here, here. Uh, she's lighting it up. She says she's lighting it up and when I look through his eyes I can actually see things that at least to his second sight, yeah. are lighting up. Whether they're literally lighting up or not, I don't know. Sometimes with clouds and sun, you can get a spotlight shining somewhere. That's true. Uh, she's showing him where to go. I think he's starting to listen to her. You know what's happening? What? I think those presences who are purporting to be his quote guides or guardian angels or whatever they're calling themselves yeah. they're rendering themselves irrelevant because they're not giving him advice that works and somebody else is saying well here's quite obviously what you should do and her advice actually works that's true and so as would any rational presence he's starting to listen to her they're rendering themselves irrelevant what now for us, the collective of the nature realms, to live With our collective, collective soul, soul plan? plan? What now? I feel a straightening up as if up is maybe to the right. Oh, maybe we got tumbled in the astral drift currents and we're not facing up again. That happens. And our jump mum, <laughs> like yeah. they're calling him a jump mum. Our jump mum friend, Big Green 2002, got tumbled. I think that's who got tumbled. Oh, this Th feels that true. That means the astral drift currents are way up high now. That's true. Um, Isis says they go much higher than that. Okay. Okay. He feels like he's on the move again. 
That's true. He doesn't feel like he doesn't know what to do and he feels more energized. That's true. I feel a lightening of the heavy feeling here. I feel actually better. Better. Do you feel better? Yeah, noticeably better. Noticeably better. Okay. Are we out of time? Two minutes from out of time. Okay. Let's start. Well. Correcting the errors of listening to the wrong voices all up and down the search for truth central axis. Somebody's asking what we know about this. We know that our Ra used to say it's one of the most important points is sorting through all the many voices that are providing input and knowing which voice to listen to. And, and they're asking what else we know about that. What our Ra said is it's the voice that's saying something that's inspiring but terrifying and that many people make up excuses about fear being a signal to not do what we're afraid to do and that's almost always incorrect. That's true. Fear is almost always a signal that we're supposed to do that but in a way that makes sense. Don't do it in a crazy dangerous way but to not let fear call the shots. And That's why would true. we let fear call the shots anyway? You don't get to say for me, hello, my old friend fear, thank you for being such a loyal companion, but now watch me do it anyway. You don't get to say for me. That's, that's what our Ra said about it. Why do you ask? I think Big Green feels better. Yeah, better. Yes, okay, good. Let's wrap. I don't know who to submit to. I don't know. It doesn't feel right to submit to Isis. No, it doesn't. He's got a higher soul up there who really wants something to come together for him. We could submit it up the higher soul chain. Maybe. Oh, that looks clear. Just aim right up through his channels to the highest presence we can connect with right now who really wants what looks like the nature realms to live our collective soul plan. Aiming through these big green channels to the highest presence we can connect with right now who really wants us, the collective of the nature realms, to live our collective soul plan. Somebody's arguing about the definition of us, the collective. Everything's inside of it. Why do you think they call factories plants?